learning does not end. I think. And uh, in this main conference, uh, I was actually uh, there are many experts, people who are involved in research, who are involved in uh, using the, uh, the available kits that we need in, in actually in doing our business. I came mainly to, to learn more of how I can improve, improve my production, improve my quality of my products and uh, listen to way new methods new things that I can use from the conference to take back to my business. You start your are a businessman and there are other people who have their roles. They, for example, the researchers, for example, they, will, they will educate you more. You can't know any, everything. Reaching our site um, uh, uh, gave um, an insight to, to, to skilled people, to professionals and and they have been able to give us advice, like they could just look at a mistake and, and tell you that, you know, you have to do this this way, or this is not done properly. Our farmers also, like, um, they try to identify problems that are encountered by medium-scale pig farmers, and uh, they communicated back to me. So I'm going to communicate back to them. So they are going also to benefit the smallholder farmers that we visited, the information, all the information has been given to me and I'm going to communicate it back to them. So it is really very, very useful. Of course, it was the tools that we, we went out to test in the field and then perhaps which are being reviewed to see how they can be more suitable. I think the tools are quite critical. I remember there was some heavy discussion just a few weeks ago as to whether the value chain approach is appropriate in a smallholder context. And I, and my own belief is that yeah, it, this is a tool, and the tool depends on what you want to use it for. And in this particular case, I think what we want is information that can give us a benchmark and also that can get us to trace all the different actors that are within that chain. And I think practically using the toolkit that we, we got from EOL on the ground, was quite a useful uh, experience that I got. I also got quite some very valuable uh, lessons from the EAD uh, dairy project that is happening in East Africa, uh, of which we then cemented the theory that they talked about with the field visit which we had yesterday, and where we had ample time to discuss with the participants in the, in the, in the dairy value chain, and there were quite some interesting lessons that came out of that. One of the places that we went to yesterday, a woman there said that um, there is no support from government and um, I also discovered that in some places youths were not really really involved. One major reason I'm interested in youth advocacy is I just see youth, I see, they are, I see that they, are, they have so much potentials, they are vibrant, they are intelligent so, and a lot of them just don't know what to do. The, the information is not there and just as I always say that agriculture as a whole, it's not attractive, at least in my part of uh, the world as in Nigeria. But it needs to be rebranded, it needs to, we need to make it attractive. And, uh, uh, and again, I also, also let the youth know that you don't necessarily have to be a farmer. If you are into ICT, you can come into agriculture because we can, you can use your knowledge of ICT to help us in, in forecast, in getting market accessibility, in uh, you know, uh, uh, trying to also advertise our progress online and so on and so forth.